Our police department leading the way to make sure that officers and first responders are really in tip-top mental shape. ABC4's Andrew Reeser tells us about the wellness program that's proven useful as the department deals with tragedy on the thin blue line. For police officers processing traumatic events, hindsight can be a horrible 2020 experience. But now Orem PD has a way to talk through the trauma. Go down the window, please. Strong and silent. Are you kidding me? Doesn't work in the field, and it's not working in real life, according to Orem Police Department Chief Gary Giles. We had a really rough year, year this year. At the police department's gym. We're going to expand it out by a, a pretty decent amount. Physical strength is top priority. But what about mental strength? The department's one-of-a-kind wellness program requires officers, dispatchers, and victim advocates to see a licensed therapist at least once a year. Police officers aren't always keen on talking about their feelings, Giles says. I can't force anybody to talk to them, but I can as a department and I can as a chief tell them that I will pay them to go and, and, and be there. Even if it's just a quick game of chess with a therapist, it's an icebreaker to blow off steam associated with this high risk. Dealing with... Uh, children as victims uh, of dealing with death, of dealing with traumatic events. And high stress job. There are very, very few people that go in and sit there for an hour without at least talking about something. Implemented last year, the mandatory therapy has helped officers involved in the shooting death of a 17 year old who last October charged at them with a knife. Giles says their therapy sessions came at the perfect time to deal with that tragedy. And just last month, the shooting death of Provo police officer Joseph Schenners sent shockwaves through the department. One of the officers that was directly involved in the situation, he was right there when this happened, actually had his mandatory visit the next Thursday. Talk therapy is something Giles said he wouldn't have dreamed of at the beginning of his 27-year career. Now, it's a lifeline for cops and the community. If we can maintain our employees' mental health and, and keep them on the job longer, it'll, it'll benefit everybody. Again, that was Andrew Risa reporting. Giles says that therapists are also on hand for the spouses of Orem police officers through the department's wellness program.